My name is Sean Korn and I am a yoga teacher. A lot of the work that I do uh, is not just the work that I do on the mat, but it's work I do off the mat. I'm very highly committed to being of service, and that's been a very important part of my experience. So this particular trip was in Africa, it was actually in Uganda, and I had been vetting a variety of different organizations, and I had heard about one particular organization up north that was a permaculture farm, but it had also been, um, it was an orphanage that where there were children who were affected or affected by HIV AIDS. That meant that very often these kids were head of household, you know, 12 year old kid, children who were taking care of other children, um, children who were sick themselves. And the methodology that this particular farm had developed was giving these children skills for their future and had also taken the entire village out of poverty. It had been poverty for years and it had come up with something very interesting and sustainable. And so I went to visit this farm. And I was immediately impressed. You know, I walked in and the children had made me a vegetarian meal. And uh, the director says, while everyone's eating, says, children, I have a question for you. I want to know what you did today that made you happy or that made you feel proud or excited. And one by one, the children went around the table and they shared little moments, little victories, you know, just success stories of the day. And then after that was done, the director said, children, I'm curious, what happened today that you weren't proud of or made you feel bad or sad or ashamed? And one by one, with almost the same amount of enthusiasm, the children shared little moments that day that didn't go so well. And I remember one child, he didn't use this word, but he had bullied another child. I guess he had picked on a child and he felt really ashamed about it. Another kid had stolen food that morning. She was afraid that there wasn't gonna be any food that night. One by one, the children just fearlessly shared these moments. And then the director asked a final question. He said, children, I'm curious. What will you commit to tomorrow? And one by one, the children went around the table and they said one word, love, 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 love. At this point, I'm crying hysterically. Um, afterwards, the director and I went for a walk and he explained to me about permaculture. And he explained how that nothing got wasted, that everything was used and everything had to be used in relationship to the other. The digging of the ditch was essential. The soil and the minerals, the quality of that seed was essential. But so was the quality of the person digging the ditch. He said that's why he was so committed to helping to evolve the souls of these children to get them comfortable with their own humanity, both the good in their humanity and the not so good in their humanity. And so he said to me, Sean, I'm curious, why are you here? And I said, I wanna help. I said, I'll do whatever you need. I got money, I have access to money. You name the project and I can help make this happen for you. And he smiled and he said, there will only ever be one answer to that question. And he said, it's love. He said, anything less, you'll just get in the way. He said, Sean, go home, do your work. He said, Stay here, we'll teach you how to dig a ditch. Go home, do your work, come back from love, and we'll show you how to fill that hole. And that advice was some of the most important advice I was ever given in my service work, that if love isn't the single most important seed being planted, then it's not sustainable. And so to this day, that's uh, that man, that work, and the idea of permaculture hit a really deep, deep part of my own heart, and it's the intention in which I, I follow and I'm committed to love above all. I was looking for something. A spark, a break from the routine, a breath of fresh air.